We Malabaris are known for our different variety of snack items. We have a huge list of evening snacks that we make, especially during parties or uh, during weddings. Today, I'm going to present to you two not very uncommon uh, snack items. One is kunyi kaltapam, and the other one is the very popular wet cake, or uh, as we call it, cake kappa. To make kunyi kaltapam, you have to first soak the rice in water for two hours, then drain it and add it to the uh, blender jar along with sugar, cooked rice, cardamom, and water. Then you have to grind it until you get a very smooth batter without any grains. Then you have to strain the batter through a strainer and mix it well with a spoon for a minute. Let it sit for a minimum of half an hour. Heat 5 to 6 tablespoons of coconut oil or vegetable oil in a pan and pour one ladle of batter into the oil and fry it on medium low heat till the ends get crisp and golden brown in color and the center gets cooked. You don't have to flip the kaltapams, all you have to do is pour the oil over the appams to cook the center. Drain it on a kitchen tissue and serve. If you're eating it the next day, microwave it for a few seconds for it to turn soft and fresh. These appams are served with a sweetened coconut and lentil mixture, which I didn't make. If you are making it, you can reduce the sugar level to half a cup. Next, let's see how to make cake appam or wet to cake. For that in a bowl, add egg and powdered sugar and mix it until the sugar is completely dissolved. Add fresh cardamom powder and mix it and then add flour and uh, semolina, baking soda and a pinch of salt and mix everything together with a spoon first and uh, once it comes together, knead it well with your hand until you get a smooth dough. I like my cake cupums to be a little bit on the crisp side such that uh, the outside would be crisp and the inside would be uh, a little soft. But if you like uh, your cake cupums to be really soft inside and outside like a cake, then skip uh, the semolina and the ghee which I'll be adding next. I've added ghee here but if you want a softer cake, uh, don't add ghee. Let the dough rest for about one hour covered. Divide the dough into two, form each half into a rectangular log. Using a sharp knife, slice the dough into 3 by 4 to 1 inch thick slices. Make four deep cuts on four sides of each slice. And then deep fry on medium heat in vegetable oil until the appams turn um, golden brown in color on all sides. Make sure that the heat is not very high, otherwise the outside will get uh, brown really quick and the inside will be uncooked. Once it's cooked, take it out and drain it on an absorbent kitchen tissue and serve.
Hope you like these two evening tea time snack recipe. If you did, please do give this video a thumbs up and uh, please do share this with your friends and family and subscribe if you haven't. And don't forget to click on the bell icon to get a notification whenever I post new recipes. Thank you so much for watching.